Good morning. It's April the 21st, 2017. A little news overnight, other than the uh, terrorist uh, shooting in Paris and its impact on the French elections on Sunday. Probably will help Le Pen. Um, not much news scheduled for today, so should have a relatively quiet trading session. We'll start with our usual disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Um, the option play today is option expiration went 125 126 the open interest is at 126 so my guess is that come closing time today this market is going to uh, close at 126 uh, i see the best sell zone is 7 to 11 uh, but right now, near resistance is 04, so 3 to 7 is cell 1. 11 to 15 is cell 2. On the buy side, 25 to 29, buy 1. Basically playing 126 even, plus or minus 8, 30 seconds. And then 17 to 21 for buy 2. The news today, PMI manufacturing, 53.9. PMI services 53.1. Existing home sales 5.605 million. Baker Hughes rig count, um, no estimate for that. 965 last week total. 847. Uh, as usual, this number could be higher. And with a thaw coming in Canada, according to Reg, we'll be losing Can Canadian rigs. That number could be lower. Insight, just the logistics. The roads thaw, can't get the rigs out. Funny how the world works, right? You see, though, they used to have, have a series on maybe National Geographic or something where driving the Canadian north in the winter, supplying there's big diamond mines up there, too, right in the middle of all this frozen lakes. And uh, it's interesting how they make that work. Looking at the 30-year, the play in the 30-year was... Um, 153, 154. Yesterday we said we would expire at 154. I'm going to stick with that. Uh, maybe a little bit higher. We've got a P right here. So we're in our first resistance area, 8 to 12, number 1. So 15 to 19, so 1. 23, 27, sell 2. Um, 28 to the buck would be number 1. Buying 21s to 25s, buy 1. Buy uh, 13 to 17 for buy 2. Don't see the stock market really taking off and pressuring. And yesterday when the stock market was moving both up and down, and uh, mostly up, Treasuries weren't affected because of option expiration, so I think that'll probably be the case today. If the E mini happens to sell today, we could have a little bit more to the upside. Gold was quiet, I think it was up a buck from yesterday. Still don't think they're able to come in and break gold because of what's going on around the world with Korea 
Syria, Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia. Just a lot of uncertainty. And then uh, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan. So don't see that there's a lot of... Um, I, I just think gold's being bought for insurance. I don't think people are buying it to trade. Okay, we have a P. We are trying to trade higher, so 88 to 90. Sell 1, 94, 96, sell 2. I still think the play is stops above 1,300. On the buy side, 80 to 82. And 75 to 77. The French elections could uh, bring some support into gold, too, with the uncertainty of what's going on over there. Uh, there was a terrorist attack in Paris last night. Um, if anybody were to um, politically benefit from that, it would be Le Pen. Pick up more votes. Um, that could be reflected um, in the selling that's in the euro right now. Uh, the EU, it's really hard to see how they're going to hold the EU together. Um, it started out, you know, for free trade, which was good, but it's been a, um, if you can be a bureaucrat and get stationed to Brussels, you've uh, hit easy street. And so their economies are being choked by all rules and regulations. Uh, Le Pen would certainly change the dynamics. France and Germany are the basis of the EU. Britain's gone. Um, so this election has a lot of import for the EU in its future. If Le Pen and Macron win, and those are the two top two slots, the runoff is on May the 7th, and Macron will be expected to win on paper. But this terrorist attack um, gives Le Pen a little bit stronger hand. Okay, first buy begins 107, buy one. 106.75 by 2. On the sell side, 30 to 40, sell 1. 50 to 60, sell 2. Crude oil, OPEC statement yesterday stabilized the market, kept the bottom from falling out. Uh, again, bird in the hand, two in the bush. Uh, that's to come. So after this, I, I think uh, you know we went 47 to forget where we rallied up to. Um, so stops below 50, I believe, is the play. And the selling started in D period yesterday that you can see. So first buy 50 to 50 and a quarter, buy one. Obviously, we have to get through 50 to get there. We may not. We haven't. And then 49.50 to 75, pretty much last night's numbers. On the sell side, 50, 75, 51, sell one. 51 and a quarter, 51, 50, sell two. So... Um, Quite often we will have a new spike on Fridays as someone from OPEC or a major producer out of OPEC comes out and says things are good, things are going to get better. Yes, we're going to cut back production. We're going to stick to it. We're working supply down right now. Everything will be fine by the second half of the year. Remember last November everything was going to be fine. Everything worked off by June of this year. That has not happened. So we have to be, on Fridays, you have to be careful for midday news spikes in crude. And you always have to protect yourself with stops because it can happen any time. Okay, the E-mini. Can we trade it higher? Uh, so right here, you can see starting at 60, 
to 75 is where resistance picks up. So we've got that high right there at 63. We have those highs at 68. Have that high at 74. We're getting into that territory right now. Definitely buyers below 23.25. And we're going to see if we got a seller at 60 or better this morning. Everything is pointed up. We should get a uh, test of yesterday's highs. So we got our first sell at 59 to 61. 64, 66, sell two. On the buy side, 50 to 52, buy one. And 45, 47, buy two. Okay, it's going to take a bit to get everything up, published, out and around. Got to get busy on that. I'll be back with you as soon as possible.